Alrighty, hello and welcome to the channel and for today's video we're in Hirschfeld. Why? Because I never hunt Hirschfeld. So, we got the recurve, got the compound, got all my lures set up, and then I also brought regular tree stands. That was a fox, wasn't it? Red fox mating call. That was fast. Anyways, just normal hunt. Uh, why Hirschfeld? Well, as you've probably been reading the news, uh, if you have been reading the news, they're Releasing hot fixes and working on hot fixes to fix all the glitches that were supposedly fixed but not fixed and created during the patch of the fix of the new great ones. Basically, Hirschfeld, as far as I can tell, seems to be one of the few maps where just nothing catastrophic is wrong. You're not going to run into huge spawn issues of anything, performance issues, terrain issues, and it's kind of sad. Because what's the point of having all the DLCs when only one of the original maps is worth a damn? That might just be me speaking out of frustration again, because I tried to load up Baronga Savannah today, and somehow the performance just keeps getting worse on that. But then you can see here, buttery smooth. Well, whether or not the recorder's picking up, it's buttery smooth. But that being said, so Hirschfelden's the day-to-day, -day and then... I don't know, we'll figure out what we're doing from there. As far as any particular animal, the area I'm in, which is this bottom left corner here, uh, I think it's usually down here uh, by this little thing here. I have usually a pretty good luck with bison and red deer. I wouldn't mind a decent sized red deer with the bow. And there's a nice spot I can put a stand up and potentially get in. I just realized though I did that stupid thing again where I forgot to set the time. Eh, it might actually work because if I can stumble across their uh, need zone. Yeah, if I can stumble across, say, their, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, their resting zone, I should be fine, and I know where I'm going to find that. I know, female road here, but you know what? Clearly she was dumb. Shredded everything. Cash money. Moving on. Alright, I'm hearing footsteps right over this ridge line. My wind is going that way, though. Oh, way down there. Well, not way down there, but... Got an alert female. And I think that's another female. I don't see no horns. Will you? There's another one down there just kind of wandering in between the trees. Yeah, I hear you. Oh, I hit the... Yep, I hit dirt. Alright, that's fine. Still got one down here. Plentiful area. There's some pigs over there. Let's see what we got here. Yep, that's a road deer. That's double lung. It's another 800 cash. And I'm stuck on a tree. Alright, I'm just gonna work my way back up here to the trail. I'm not too worried about spooking anything. Was that pigs? Oh. I'm not gonna lie, I thought that call was bison. I'm not really seeing anything worthy in that group, though. Isn't it a little creepy? They're sleeping with their eyes open. Just, just kind of throwing that out there. Um, is there only three? I know how this goes. There's got to be more in there than just that, right? That's a 410 right there. Where? What am I spotting over here? Is that it right there? Okay, I think it's laying on its side. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this shot just because I'm having such a hard time seeing what it is. Yeah, that was a hit. That was a hit in the butt. Alright, now I know what I was seeing. That was its arse. Alright, well, wherever it is, it went down. So I'll wander down here for a second, see if I can't pick up any tracks. Anything interesting. You shush. Oh, right there. Okay. That's good, because I've been wandering around and I'm getting warning calls from just about everything over here. Let's see what we got here. Yep, that would appear to be a gut shot. 
Um, not a gut shot. Okay. So it was the butt that I aimed at, and I aimed way too high. That's why I shouldn't take blind shots. Go figure. Alright, let's see. I think I want to continue kind of the northwestern-ish way. And see if I can't come across either some red deer or some bison. One or the other will do. Oh. That's the three bison who is fleeing. Probably because I was walking around up here. Nothing too spectacular. Well, there's that three very easy bison right there. But, this area should also have some red deer sitting in these trees somewhere around here. So I want to put out a few calls. I think they normally rest down in here. But I could be wrong, so I'm going to put out some calls and see if anything comes in. Some geese. Not that I can spot them. Seriously? Because this little bit of a stick is over me, I can't spot these animals. Alright. Didn't want to hunt them anyways. All right, no movement from Red Deer, so I think I'm going to move on. There is that three easy again. Who appears to be stuck. It's only three easy, right? I'm gonna take a whack. That was a horrible hit. Yeah. Yeah, that was definitely a horrible hit. Still no hunting pressure. But again, I just don't... I, I don't want a bison just stuck there doing circles all day. And unfortunately, it was a hit. And it was a non-vital organ hit. Alright. Looks like I'm gonna track a bison. No, that's a two minor. Didn't I shoot a three? Probably need to be able to spot one of those other animals for that to work. Oh. Came up for a second. Oh. Came up for a second. No. Oh. So does that mean those are both two miners? Okay. One's a, one's a female. Oh, would you look at that. There's our three right there. So I'll just sneak up, get to about... I mean, this is a perfect shot. If... We cross our fingers and he stays still, knock on some freaking wood. I'll hopefully go in and get a lung shot to save the score. Alright, as we crest the top of this little hill here, I should be just close enough to stick him in the lung. Which will hopefully be enough to finish him off. Yeah, there he is. Uh, 120 yards. We could try it. See if it'll do... I'm going to aim a little bit towards the back of the lung. That was a hit. And he's down. Um, they are alert. They are angry. They are traveling. Maybe. They are traveling closer to me. You know what? Maybe we can go two for two here. I'm going to take a whack. I think I hit a tree there. Oh, yeah. No, I definitely hit a tree. So there's a two minor bull right there. And then there's a three there. I really don't like the fact that they're coming straight for me. Can I put this up right here? Of course not. Why would there be a tree around me I could put this stand up in? I would appreciate if you all decided to go a different direction. All right. I think that's going to work. Yep, they're gonna scoot. All right, then go pick up our bowl. Maybe have the crossbow out and sighted just in case. Uh, let's do a little further. There we go. All right, there he is. It's not a half bad looking uh, bull there. All right, let's see what we got here. Pretty much quickly because I think they're already starting to come back. So the first shot I caught him in the leg. And the second shot, I caught him in the neck, which apparently counted for the vital organ. Cool. And he was just a little silver. Still, that was the second one was a 120-yard neck shot, even if it was by accident. 
But not seeing anything bigger in that herd, and I don't know where they're going. Oh, right there. And he's 81 yards away. Whoops, stay down, you Nimrod. 81 yard, 80 yards, should we try it right there? It was a good hit. Oh, this is a problem. Not that much of a problem. Thank the Lord. Ooh, I'm not gonna lie. We can call this video the puckering. Oh, geez, there's still one right there who hasn't noticed me. No, has not noticed me. Nope, there she goes. That should have been a good double lung. There's another one right here. All right, she's down. Oh boy. Go down. Down. Are they really just going to keep coming back? I mean, if they're going to keep coming back, I'll keep taking them. All right, let's take a look. Let's see. So the female here, that was a 43 yard double lung. Money. This should be the bull. 80 yard double lung. 136 tiny bull. Hang on. Let's see if we can't. Here she comes. And she's down. Now, yes, I'm well aware at this point I'm deleting their zone, but it's a rest zone. They move around all the time anyways. Bison are always very plentiful in this area. So that was double lung and out the other shoulder blade. God, she was absolutely tiny. Which I don't hunt bison in this area all that much, so it kind of makes sense. 42.23, my lord, tiny. That's a rock. I almost shot that rock. I almost didn't think to check before I fired. And I think the only thing left in that uh, herd that was worthy was the uh, uh, number two bolt. Oh, and I didn't delete their zone because it was all the way back over here anyways, so... That works for me. All right, that being said, though, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. I don't know if it comes out shorter or longer, but uh, yeah, bow hunting bison. Not what I intend to do. I meant for red deer, but bison's what I get next time. I'll probably move further north on the map and uh, see maybe fallow deer or heck, I don't know. Just whatever I come across. I, it's the wandering hunt method. You wander around and wonder what you're going to get and whatever happens to cross in front of you. That's what you shoot, hey, red deer. All right, well, anyways, there's buttons if you liked it, buttons if you didn't. And as always, buttons to push. Until next time.